So we're in the north country of New York State in the Adirondack State Park, about two hours north of Albany and two hours south of Montreal. We're looking at a net negative energy house, which is not net zero, it's better than net zero. It, uh, it produces more power than it uses. So this house is a 700 square foot living space and a 700 square foot garage. And it's gonna produce, uh, with the solar panels on the roof, roughly 14 kilowatts, which is about 30, 40% more than what it'll consume over the course of a year. When you wanna build an energy efficient house, you gotta start with the structure of the building itself. This house has a, uh, a crawl space underneath the concrete on the bottom of the crawl space is, a, is six inches of hard foam. And then there's a blown foam along the side walls of the crawl space. The, uh, the construction of the side walls is two by sixes with a blown in hard foam about four or five inches thick. Between the roof beams, it's again a hard foam blown in. The windows are Marvin windows, very efficient. We pay a lot of attention to the doors and seals. So once you have a very tight, super insulated envelope, then to make the, the heat and the air conditioning for the house, we use a heat pump. It's an air-sourced heat pump. This is not a geothermal system with, a, with, with pipes going down into the earth. This is just a unit that sits above the ground behind the house. Looks just like an air conditioning compressor. The air handler takes in the refrigerant, which is either hot or cold, and it pushes the air into ducts throughout the house, depending on the time of year. We have a brand new standing seam metal roof. Uh, and on top of that metal roof, we have these racks that the solar panels get installed on. They'll be roughly 45 panels. They produce about 300 watts a piece roughly a 14 kilowatt system. These solar panels are a runoff of an end phase uh, system. It's a publicly traded stock, and each panel has its own mini inverter that converts the DC power that's produced by the panel into AC power, and that AC line picks up the power from all the different panels, runs it into a box in the garage, which then circulates that power into the house. There's several ways to attach these systems to the roofs. There's flashing kits for, for single roofs, and then for a standing seam, such as we have here, we've got several types of clamps that we can use. I chose to use the product from Ace Clamps. It has two points of connection on each clamp. I found that these, you know, they attach much, much more securely and don't damage the roof surface itself. On all roof-mounted systems, I use micro-inverters. So each, each panel is about 45 volts uh, DC. The inverter changes the direct current into alternating current, which is what everybody has in their home. And that allows us to not only use the power in the home, but also send it back to the utility for a credit. Architects are increasingly focused on finding south-facing roof lines to put uh, the panels on. So that's going to be a starting place these days for any kind of architectural work on a clean energy house. The total price of the system is around $30,000. For a house that would use all the electricity, the investment of $30,000 saves you sufficient amounts of money on an annual basis that you're making a very nice positive return on your investment.